everyone it's your boy odin from host off promo we're going to be reviewing some awesome open source wiki software called wiki.js in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install it going over all the different features and every single thing you need to know and wiki.js has become quite popular in a very short period of time with over 5 million installs and 6,000 stars on github if you want to see a very quick demo you can go to their website and click docs up in the menu and their documentation has actually been built with wiki.js and what I want to show you guys is their Twitter has just announced that Wiki.js is now on the digital ocean marketplace. So you don't have to spend hours setting it up and installing it and ripping your hair out. You can install it in one click now. And if you don't know what Host Off Promo is, it's a website to find the best web hosting companies and promotions. Now let me go ahead and show you how to install Wiki.js in one minute. If you want a $50 free trial to DigitalOcean, I will have a link in the description as the pinned comment. Simply sign up, create an account, and go up here to the menu and click Create Droplet. Okay, a droplet means a server, and it will bring you to this page. You're going to click the Marketplace tab right here, and you're going to make sure you have Wiki.js selected. Okay, once you have that selected, you're going to scroll down and make sure you're on the cheapest server for $5. And you're going to go all the way down you're going to select what location you want it in and then once you selected your location you can simply click create droplet okay it's going to go ahead and spin up a server once that server has been set up you can simply come here and click copy and copy the ip address and put the ip address and you'll look something like this okay now it's going to prompt you to create an administrator account so I'm going to simply create an administrator account, test at test.com. We'll do test1234, test1234, just for this example. In site URL, I don't actually have a domain I want to put this on. So I'm simply just going to use the IP address, okay? And make sure you don't have a trailing slash at the end. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. And then allow telemetry. I personally like my privacy, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click install, okay? It's gonna take about 30 seconds to one minute to install. Now that Wiki.js is installed, we can simply just log in and get started, okay? So let's go ahead, boom, login successful. Redirectory, do we wanna save this password? Don't save. Welcome to your Wiki, let's get started and create the home page. let's do it. Okay, so this is pretty cool. When you create something with Wiki.js, you can choose if you want to use the visual editor, which is the normal WYSIWYG editor, which you're probably used to if you're using something like WordPress or a content management system, or you can use Markdown format, which is very common in README files, or you can use raw HTML. I personally like the Markdown editor, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and it's going to ask us the page we want to call it, okay? I'm just going to put the page as home. And then it's going to ask you for the path in the URL right here. And I'm just going to leave that as is. And you can also add some tags. Uh, we'll just add a tag called homepage, okay? And then if we go to scheduling, you can schedule when you want the post to be published. And also, if you come here and you click social features, this is coming soon, so currently you can't uh, uncheck or check any of these options, but it does. it is pretty cool. What I like about Wiki.js is any of the new features they're coming out with, they show you in the coming soon, so you can get a good idea of where this project is going, okay? So now that we have our markdown editor here, we can start writing some content, okay? If we use three pound signs, I think it gives us an H3 tag, so we could just do hello world testing the editor hit enter and boom you can see the changes right here over in the live preview you have some options here to edit the text make it bold italic etc etc you also right here if you click insert assets you can insert files and different type of uh, media assets directly into the document okay Another cool thing that they have is this distraction free mode, which will put up in a full screen editor. However, if you want to get out of this, there's no exit button and escape itself will not exit it. You have to click and then press escape. I think they should change that so you don't have to click. Okay. Um, one cool thing that I want to show you guys is all the different account settings. So we'll go here and we'll go to account up in the right 
corner in the menu and then click administration okay so right here in the dashboard you can just see some basic stats like how much pages how many users how much groups you have if we click general here we can set the site URL we can set the name and the title of the site um, we can add our logo our company name and do a few other different things. If we go to local, this will handle things like translation in different languages, etc., etc. Uh, you can also enable this multilingual namespacing. And if you do this, it says the local code will be prefixed to all paths, en, and then page name. So that way, you can just easily, uh, you know, switch through languages by simply changing the URL. Okay. If we go to navigation right here, like I talked about earlier. Um, we can go ahead and for example add a divider and then we could go ahead and add a page um, Right here. We could just do about and then if we come down here uh, the target type We have to click a target uh, What I don't like about wiki.js what they really need to fix is that I was playing around with it earlier and if you do add a bunch of pages etc etc I feel like it should pull these pages, but it seems like you manually have to type in the URL. So hopefully in the future they fix that. So now we'll go ahead and press apply. If we go to the pages setting um, here, it'll just have your different pages and you can also manage pages. Um, if we go to the theme, let's go ahead and change the theme. Let's do dark. I love dark. Dark mode is the best mode. Sorry, all my people who like light theme, dark theme is where it's at. Okay, and you can also do CSS override in that theme section. So if you want to do some custom CSS, you can do that. You can add different groups. And this is great for managing users because with the groups, you can set the different permissions. So you can have administrators, you could have guests, you could also create a new group just for editors who could edit stuff. But for example, you don't want them being able to change settings. So you don't want them to be an admin administrator, etc. Right here, you can add new users. If we go to analytics, this is really nice. It hooks up with many different types of analytics. So you could easily put your Google Analytics tracking ID. Uh, if you don't want to be tracked by Google Analytics and you want to use open source software, you could use something like Countly and easily put your app key and server URL inside of it. If we go to authentication, here you can start hooking up all the OAuth and different authentication to be used. Um, with Facebook, Dropbox, Discord, etc., etc. If you click comments, editor, or logging, currently right now these are not, uh, you cannot click these. So I think that these are a work in progress that is coming soon. If we go ahead and we click rendering, here you can see that you can change things. Uh, you know, if you want to show emojis. Uh, if you want to allow or disallow HTML, etc., etc., you can really, really control what the content looks like with the rendering settings. If we go to search engine, um, it looks like you can basically configure it so that you can you can use different types of search engines to search your wiki. So right now it's just using the default database one, but if you want to hook it up with Elasticsearch, you could easily do that. However, I think you can keep most of these settings at the default when you're just starting out okay storage um, you can create daily backups which is really cool and then you can set where you want to store the storage and if you don't want it on the local file system it also supports amazon s3 it supports git and it supports digital ocean spaces and it looks like in the future it will support dropbox google drive and other storage services okay so it looks like they're working really hard to build a lot of new features api access it looks like they haven't built this yet you can't click it if we click mail here you can set the mail settings the sender name the sender email etc etc what port you want to send it from if we go to system info this will just show some system uh, some info uh, if we click utilities right here you could flush the cache um, you can change if you want to enable, disable, telemetry, and different things like that. Uh, webhooks, currently, this is not an option, but in the future it will be, which is really cool. If we go to developer tools, there's some different tools that we can use. Um, and then also right here, if you click contribute to Wiki.js, I think that will bring you to the GitHub. Okay. 
anyways um, that is all the administration area I just wanted to go over the dashboard with you guys show you how it all works now let's go back to the home page okay this is what it looks like let's just go ahead and add another page for example and also if you come here and you click edit page if you click history uh, currently this is not an option but it will be in the future I really think that they need to build that out soon because seeing the history on a wiki is very very important you can also click view source you can also move and rename files and you can trash files okay um, we're gonna come up here and click new page and right here I feel like this user interface could be a lot better and the one thing I want to show you guys is you can have multiple wiki projects going on so say you have five different github repos but you want to do five different wiki JS projects all on the same IP address that is possible okay but for right now I just want to put every single thing in the home one okay uh, so I think we could just do something like this let's see um, so boom okay we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys what the WYSIWYG editor the visual editor looks like okay we'll do the about page look the path is about scroll down Press OK. Okay, now we have the WYSIWYG editor, which is a little bit different than the Markdown editor. For example, we could click Heading 5, do Hello World. If you don't know how to use Markdown, then using WYSIWYG editor is very, very easy, okay? Because this is what you're used to. This is something like Microsoft Word. It already has everything up here, okay? You don't need to know how many pound signs, etc., etc., to do. Okay, now we're going to go ahead go ahead and click create and it's going to create that second page um, and now if we go back here and we click right here we have home we have the divider and if we click about it goes to that about page so now you see how you can create a project how you can have multiple pages you can also link pages together etc etc I think wiki.js is really really cool software I think it's off to a good start I think some features are quite uh, not mature yet, but I think in the next few months, in the next year, this software will become very, very good and very, very popular, okay? DigitalOcean usually does not add one-click installations unless the project looks very, very promising, okay? So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any other questions about installing it, about any of the features, you can just leave them down below and I'll be more than happy to help you. And make sure to check out my website, host.promo, if you wanna find the best web hosting companies and promotions going on at any given time. And I will have that $50 free trial for DigitalOcean in the link down below so you can get started with Wiki.js in one click. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Peace out.